narrated by Amitaya. We were forbidden to mourn for more than three days for a dead person, except for a husband, for whom a wife should mourn for four months and ten days, while in the mourning period, we were not allowed to put coal in our eyes, nor perfume ourselves, nor wear dyed clothes, except a garment of asab, special clothes made in Yemen. But it was permissible for us that when one of us became clean from her menses and took a bath, she could use a piece of a certain kind of incense. And it was forbidden for us to follow funeral processions. Narrated by Amitaya The Prophet peace be upon him said, It is not lawful for a lady who believes in Allah and the last day, to mourn for more than three days for a dead person, except for her husband, in which case she should neither put coal in her eyes, nor perfume herself, nor wear dyed clothes, except a garment of asab. Amitaya added. The Prophet peace be upon him said, she should not use perfume except when she becomes clean from her menses whereupon she can use cust, and asfar, two kinds of incense. Narrated by Mujahith. Regarding the verse if any of you dies and leaves wives behind, that was the period of the Edda which the widow was obliged to spend in the house of the late husband. Then Allah revealed, and those of you who die and leave wives should bequeath for their wives a year's maintenance and residence without turning them out, but if they leave, there is no blame on you for what they do of themselves, provided it is honorable, lawful marriage, Surah 2 verse 240. Mujahid said, Allah has ordered that a widow has the right to stay for seven months and twenty days with her husband's relatives through her husband's will and testament so that she will complete the period of one year, of Edda. But the widow has the right to stay that extra period or go out of her husband's house as is indicated by the statement of Allah, but if they leave there is no blame on you. Surah 2 verse 240 Ibn Abbas said, the above verse has cancelled the order of spending the period of the Edda at her late husband's house, and so she could spend her period of the Edda wherever she likes. And Allah says, without turning them out. Ada said, if she would, she could spend her period of the Edda at her husband's house, and live there according to her, husband's, will and testament, and if she would, she could go out of her husband's house, as Allah says, there is no blame on you for what they do of themselves. Surah 2 verse 240 Ada added, Then the verses of inheritance were revealed and the order of residence, for the widow, was cancelled, and she could spend her period of the Edda wherever she would like, and she was no longer entitled to be accommodated by her husband's family. Narrated by Zainab bint Um Salama when Umm Hababa bint Abi Sufyan was informed of her father's death, she asked for perfume and rubbed it over her arms and said, I am not in need of perfume, but I have heard the Prophet peace be upon him saying, It is not lawful for a lady who believes in Allah and the last day to mourn for more than three days except for her husband for whom the mourning period is four months and ten days. <laughs>